With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question says, limit n tends to infinity and the function that is given to us is nth root of p plus nth root of q divided by 2 whole this whole function raised to the power n and p and q are greater than 0. That means we uh, and we need to find the value of this function it equals to. So we are given four options that is 1 root pq, pq and pq by 2. So the question so I can write I will write this function so limit x tends to 0. Now I can write this in this form p raised to the power 1 by n plus q raised to the power 1 by n divided by 2 raised to the power n. So now what I am going to do is I will let let 1 by n is equals to x. So from here what I get is that value of n is equals to 1 by x. This is what I have. So I, when I put this back here, so the equation this will become, so this will become limit x tends to 0. So this will become p raised to the power x plus q raised to the power x by 2 and re, this will be 1 by x. This is our expression. Now what I am going to do is I will in inside this function I will add to and, and subtract to. So limit x tends to 0 this will be p of x plus q of x minus 2 plus 2 divided by 2 raised to the power 1 by 2 so, uh, 1 by x. So this is what you have. Now when I open it now what I can do is I will take this positive 2 separately. So what I get is so and I will split this minus 2 into minus 1 and minus 1. So what I can write it as p of x minus 1 plus q of x minus 1 divided by 2 plus this 2 divided by 2 raised to the power 1 by x. I can write it in this form. So our function becomes limit x tends to 0. So this will become p of x minus 1 by 2 plus q of x minus 1 by 2 plus 1 raised to the power 1 by x. Now what we are going to do is now there is there is a formula that says that if we are given limit x tends to 0 in such a way that uh, there is a function fx raised to the power function of x that is gx then this can be written as e uh, exponential raised to the power limit x tends to 0 multi into f of x minus 1 multiplied by g of x. So this power will get multiplied here. This is what we have. So using this formula we will expand this. So we will expand this. So this whole part the inside of the bracket is our fx and this 1 by x is gx. So what we get is e limit x tends to 0. So f of x. So this will be p of x minus 1 by 2 plus q of x minus 1 by 2. And this will be plus 1 minus 1 into 1 by x. Now this one and this one gets cancelled out. So what I have is e limit x tends to 0. Now I will take this 2 out. So 2 is common in both the terms. So I will take this 2, 2 out. So 1 by 2 into and this 1 by x. So I will get uh, I will multiply it by both the terms. So what I have left is p of x minus 1 by x plus q of x minus 1 by x. Now this is what I have. Now it is now there is one more formula that says that if we are given if we are given limit x tends to 0 and the function is a raised to the power x minus 1 by x then it can be replaced with natural log of a. So this can be replaced with natural log of a. This is what we have. So our expression when I apply these limits our expression will become e 1 by 2. So this will convert to natural log of p plus natural log of q. This is what we have. Now this natural log of p that is ln a plus ln b can be written in the form of ln a b multiplied a. So our expression will become so this expression will become e raised to the power half of ln p q. Now when this when this type of expression is given that is a ln x then it can be written as ln x raised to the power a. 
so it, it can be written in this form so in our case this a is 1 by 2 and x is pq so this expression will change to e natural log of this will be under root of p q now one more thing to note here is this natural log is nothing but log log to the base e so we can write it as e log to the base e into under root of p q so now now there's one more expression that says that if a raised to the power log a of x with base a this is equals to x now this is the formula so you can see the base the uh, the number here e and it is in the base as well so this will become this will result into under root of p q this is our final answer let's take a look at the options now so if you see option 2 is the correct answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today